Hi everyone, um, sorry about my freaky voice, I've got the cold that everyone's got, Jen's got it as well, but yeah, so yeah, um, motherhood, it's an area where I have issues on both sides of the multifaceted coin, um, first off, the fact that we are dear that it's only heterosexual, middle class and well off women who are in marriages or long term partnerships and are white generally, um, that can have babies and be pretty much left alone, more so than others. Secondly, the idea that even then, even the women with the least marginalised, for want of a better word, status, are piled with pressures and shit of remaining, for example, remaining in completely spotless mental health after giving birth. Um, Regaining their pre-birth figures um, to become sexually attractive to males once again. Um, be faced with the option of either losing their careers or losing income and bringing up their child how they want to and by themselves and not paying for childcare. Or keep career and income and pay childcare and not be able to look after said child in the way that you want full time. Um, there's also the pressures of being childless. The pressures of... Um, simply not wanting children, pressures of infertility, pressures of adoption, and being a certain age and having children, especially older or extremely young. Thirdly, on the other side of all that, the stigma around young pregnancy, single mothers, single mothers who are also women of colour, infertility, and the actual physical dangers surrounding pregnancy and how women are expect, uh, expected to deal with all of these things because it's a natural process. Um, so yeah, obviously the list of issues is really huge. And there are loads more other things that I could go into detail on, but I don't have that much time. So I'm just going to, I've just quickly listed all the things that bug me about motherhood. Obviously there are wonderful things about motherhood too, but it's just the things that are bad for a feminist perspective. Anyway. So, yeah, my mum's a single mother, and this has actually gained a surprising amount of prejudice from people. You'd have thought that in this day and age, that, you know, I don't know what the percentage of single mothers is in this country, but I, I can't imagine that it's particularly low. Um, but when buying our first house without my father, she was shown around a house by a man who said that he knew her type and absolutely found her simply because she was a single mother, so much so that the estate agent had to apologise on behalf of the property owner. It was a horrible experience for my mum. So, yeah, my mum hasn't had that much luck with, like, buying houses and stuff. I remember when she told me when she was buying a flat with my dad, um, the woman who was leasing the flat said, oh, I, I I don't trust your thought because my dad is like dark skin and my mum is white. So yeah, she was pleasant. Um so anyway, you just thought that by now this sort of stuff would have like fizzled out sometime in like the mid nineteen eighties. But nay, it is still apparent. Um and definitely exacerbated if you're not white. Um the the other thing is just the general demonisation of mothers from all types. You know, all types of mothers. Ranging from being a single mother, bringing up a child without a father, bringing up a child on benefits, bringing up more than one child if you have little money, um, just to, you know, just daring to breastfeed in public. All of these things just continue to baffle me and exasperate me. I just fail to comprehend how on one hand, we're in a society where having children is considered a natural process to the extent of being almost compulsory. But on the other hand, the injustice on pregnant women and mothers are absolutely piled upon um, people. Um, you know, there's even stigma and difference among feminists. And you thought that this was a movement which wouldn't have those sorts of things. I know there definitely is. I think that um, uh, particularly among generations, different generations, um, there's, you know, I remember my mother telling me that um, 
you wait till you have children, again, the assumption that I will or ever want to, um, but she says, you wait till you have children, then you'll be dead. Basically, there was a discussion about, you know, why she doesn't fight things, why I'm particularly radical and go out and do things to do about concerning feminism and stuff. But it sort of appears that having children can definitely, actively change your opinions and politics behind your feminism. And obviously this is kind of self-explanatory because it's a life experience that changes the dynamics and reasons and problems that you might face and therefore you need different aims um, and so you become aware of more things but I just think it's a shame that you know somebody else sort of similar age my mum and my mother also said you know when you have children and taxes to pay and things to do like that politics and fighting things just pales into the background and you know you still you still have your morals but fighting for them is less important that might be something to do with age maybe as well, rather than motherhood, but that might be a contributing factor. I don't know, really what else to say, this has kind of been a bit of a ramble, but if any of my disconnected thoughts and things um, provoke any more discussion, please, please, please comment below. Um, I've sort of covered quite a lot in a short bit of time, so hopefully it just um, makes sense. Um, yeah, so have a good Mother's Day. Hug um, your mum if you have a mum. If you don't have a mum, think of your mum. And if you don't know your mum, go away. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>